what's going on guys dr boot 7 signing in so this thing that you see on the screen it's an emulator is the nintendo switch emulator on the pc the last emulation video that i did was the playstation portable emulator but that was for the nintendo switch itself it's switch homebrew anything related to switch homebrew you can check out my contents i cover a whole lot of them if you want to get the best nintendo switch homebrew experience you can check out my homebrew playlist okay let's get into the topic at hand so this is the yuzu emulator make sure that your pc is capable of handling the current generation games or titles just make sure that your computer is equipped with a, a mid-range to a mid-high range graphic card along with a decent cpu because emulation is basically creation of the environment the console environment of personal computer so mine here is a gaming pc i've never used it for gaming other than making videos and editing videos so let's see let's put it on the test i'm going to be showing you guys the download and initial setup of the emulator and uh, yeah so let's get on with it just go to the link in the description and you are going to get the download for the emulator now i have the i have windows 64 bit and i've downloaded it after downloading the emulator you're going to get it's going to execute itself automatically just follow the on-screen instructions and uh, you're going to have the emulator installed after installation of the emulator you're going to get the exe file either on the desktop if you do not get it on desktop just go to search and hit yuzu and you're going to find it run the emulator it's going to initialize and the very first thing that you're going to see after the installation is an error message it's going to ask you to download and set up the prerequisites i will show you guys how to do that download the rare file that i'll be uh, providing on the description as well you're going to download a rare file which is going to be like this just extract the contents and they are going to get a folder go into that folder you're going to get another subfolder named switch you go into that one you are going to get all of these rare files just extract the most recent one well the most recent one is 15.0.1 these are the firmware versions i guess are the keys for the firmware version all right so just extract the keys for 15.0.0 you're going to get this folder Headed to that folder, you're going to find these two dot key files. The next step would be heading onto the Yuzu emulator itself and go into files and open Yuzu folder. This is where you're going to copy and paste the keys. Inside the Yuzu folder, subfolder named keys, this is where you're going to copy and paste the extracted keys file. After making sure of that, head into emulation, go to configure. Now, this configuration is just a basic configuration, guys. Just do not take it as a universal configuration because there are no such thing as universal configuration for emulation. When it's related to emulation, it depends on the specific tiles that you are trying to play or run. So I'll be posting the configuration settings depending on the title that I'm trying to run on the future videos. So please make sure to like and support these videos of mine so that I can get an understanding that you guys want me to push more contents or make more contents related to switch emulation. Let's start from general. This is from where you just, you know, the debug and stuff, so it's whatever, it's, you don't have to worry about this. Go into system, sound output mode, just set it to stereo, head into CPU, recommended to be set to auto, to graphics. This is where I have selected OpenGL. I have selected the shader back end to GLASM because I my graphic card is NVIDIA. I head into emulation, you know, set it to GPU video decoding, uh, full screen mode, borderless, windowed. Uh, it, that's basically what I'm going to use. If you want a full screen, you can do exclusive full screen. However, I guess that puts a little bit more pressure on the graphics and the cpu it depends totally on you or your system aspect ratio selected to 16 to 9 and the resolution is 720 pixels you can also you know make it higher however i do not want to because it puts more pressure on the graphics window adapting filter set to bilinear anti-aliasing mode i've set it to none fsr sharpness it's set to 88 percent uh, let's just set it to 
Come on, man, it's setting to 50. Okay, all right. Audio, all of them are set to auto controls. I'm using a PlayStation DualShock controller. So your connected controllers will be appearing right here. Just click on the drop down menu and you're going to see your connected controller, which could be either through Bluetooth or through a USB cable. I am using a USB cable to connect my DualShock 4. So this is where it's showing up. Just to show you guys that my DualShock 4 is working fine that the buttons are responding all right making sure of all of that press on ok and in order to run the backups just just go to file and hit load file do not ask where i got the backups from please it's very annoying i'm not going to answer to those and do not ask me about acquiring backups now for the first time it might take a little bit do not panic if uh, the emulator stops responding do not panic it's totally fine so let's just uh, look into some of the gameplay of this game and uh, yeah, we'll wrap this video up. That's it for this one. If you like this tutorial, please make sure to drop it a like and subscribe for more contents. Dr. Group 7 signing off. Peace.